why are you so much under siege? Why, why, why are people hating on you? I have never been under siege. Jeff, I'm a veteran labor leader of a very high repute. I represent workers on a democratically elected vote. So I'm in my right position simply because I was elected. And I've been around in labor movement for some times. So to put me under siege, and I, I come from an organization that is free and independent. It's not a department of employers organization or government's organization. But it's a social partner in industrial relations practice with the government and employers. Do you think you're a threat though? Are you a threat? Because you know, I'm not a threat because uh, politics is not on my line. I don't want to become a member of parliament, an MC, a senator, a president, why, or a deputy president. Why not? Because I have a larger constituency. For example, I speak for Africa. I speak for the larger East African uh, Trade Union Confederation. 14 East African countries from Madagascar to Eritrea. I am the spokesperson of the East African Trade Union Confederation with an office in Arusha, and the larger one without an office in, uh, in Khartoum, Sudan. And the OATU that I lead as a president with an office in Accra, Ghana. So you wouldn't accept any elected role here? No. What if we have so many people, we have so many promising Kenyans, and more so nowadays we have a young breed of parliamentarians, Kenyan politicians, youthful, who require our support, and advice at all the, uh, at all the time